بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا أما بعد Welcome back to Connecting with the Quran This is our 20th lesson and the three root letters of what we will cover today are الرأو والسين واللام and in Corpus Quran we're told that these occur 513 times in eight derived forms. So adding that to our previous quantity, we now are at 10,205 words. 10,205 words. And Ibn Fadis, rahmatullahi alayhi, he says, الرَّاءُ وَالسِّينُ وَلَامُ أَصْلٌ وَاحِدٌ مُطَّرِدٌ مُنْقَاصٌ يَدُلُّ عَلَى الْبِعَاثِ وَالْإِمْتِدَانِ Tells us that these three root letters basically mean to send and to support. To support. Uh, looking at Corpus Quran, the fourth bullet tells us tells us that 332 times it occurs in the noun form of Rasul, which means a messenger, a messenger, the one who is sent, the one who is sent. 130 times it comes in the verb form of Arsala, the past tense of he was sent. So he did not send himself, Allah is the one who had sent. And then 35 times um, in the passive form of Mursal, Mursalun, meaning the one who has been sent. So Rasul and Mursal really in this case are basically the same as far as meaning is concerned, but the, uh, the pattern, the form that is used is different, Rasul being in this case like the noun, and Mursal in this case being like the, uh, what's basically called in the Arabic, Maf'ulun uh, Bihi uh, in this case. Uh, as well as it being even in the passive sense of it being Maf'ulun, uh, uh, pardon me, Mabniun Lil Majhul or Lil Ma'lum in this case. Um, but anyway, all eight of the different forms occurring in 513 different times, all of them are dealing with this aspect of being sent, but then also implied in that, understood from that is that it's not just that they're sent and they're basically uh, ignored or they're abandoned, no, there's support that is there for them. So Allah is the one who sends His messengers and He's there to support them with everything of revelation, with faith, with uh, believers of, you know, supporters and so on and so forth. And we ask Allah Azza wa Jal that He truly bless us to be from those who have accepted His Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam wholeheartedly, sincerely, and in doing so that we accept Him Himself Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala as our one and only love, our one and only God that we believe in and worship, the one and only that we live our lives for, hoping that He also loves us and that He is well pleased with us and that when He takes us back, that He takes us back with full mercy and forgiveness and only the best waiting us. Allahumma ameen wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabiyina Muhammad wa akhiru da'wana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.